And I'm making this video on request of my friends. And uh, he wanted to know how to uh, repair your gas blowback airsoft gun's leaky magazine. Now, leaks in a gas blowback airsoft gun can come from many places. The most common places are the fill valve and the uh, release valve because people do not properly lubricate their magazines and uh, the seals dry out, the O-rings, they rot and they leak like a sieve. The most common place for me is actually the seal between the base plate of the magazine and the magazine housing. This is where I get the most leaking from, which is a little bit trickier to repair than just soaking the valves overnight in silicone oil. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a leak between the uh, magazine base plate and the magazine housing, as well as to increase efficiency in your magazine. I have a leaky mag for my USP. It's actually my friend's magazine. I'm not sure if the camera can hear it, but you can sure hear it out the bottom of here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to figure out where this leak comes from and how to repair it now. So let's go do that. Test to figure out where your magazine is leaking from is to uh, just fill your sink up with water. About halfway is good. Then you load your magazine up with gas. Mine is already loaded up with gas, so it's leaking. So first you're going to have to take off this base plate so you're able to see where the uh, bubbles will be coming from, which is the gas leaking out of your mag. And then after you have the base plate off, you can place it in the water and you'll see bubbles coming out and that's the leak. As you can see, most of the bubbles are coming out from around the uh, base plate seal between the, uh, the magazine housing and the base plate. The tools required to perform the repairs shown in this video are a medium-sized flathead screwdriver, a small pin punch or substitute, pliers or a multi-tool, a larger hefty object such as this slightly larger screwdriver or a small hammer, Teflon tape, and uh, six-pack rings. that we have determined the origin of our leak, our first step is to punch out these two pins holding the uh, base plate of the magazine on. It's a good idea at this point to have uh, emptied the magazine of gas before you decide to take the pins out. I like to position the magazine off of a corner of the desk so that when you drive the pins out they will fall, they won't go into the desk. Find the other pin I just dropped. Now, once you've removed those two pins, the base plate is almost free by itself. So to get it out, you just kind of knock it against your hand like that to uh, get it to move out, and you can pry it out with your fingertips. This square piece of rubber creates a seal between the magazine base plate and its housing. Now when these get dried out they start to leak or if they don't have enough oil for a long time they shrink which causes a leak now to counteract this you could either soak take this off take off this rubber square here soak it in a bag full of silicone oil overnight and this may or may not fix the problem what I found to work more often than not is to wrap this uh, rubber seal with a couple rounds of Teflon tape, and that seems to work pretty well. I'm going to try to do this in front of the camera for you guys. Now the tighter you wrap it, the more likely it's going to stay on when you put it back together. So wrap it tightly, and uh, don't go eight batshit insane on this because you can only fit so many layers of Teflon tape on here before you can't even get the base plate back into the magazine. So I did about 
two times around. And that seems to work pretty well for my intents and purposes. Assembly is just about you know the same as disassembly. You insert you know your base plate into the seat of the magazine but now you will notice that there is a gap instead of it being flush like before when you first took out the pins. This is the Teflon tape acting against you. Now you're going to need to press it against a, a hard flat surface such as your desk or uh, rig it some goofy way in a vise. I've never had any luck with that. But generally you're going to want to hold it against the table of some sort and slide the pins in with your other hand. I like to push against the edge of my desk to do this next step. It helps a lot in keeping the base plate into the magazine so that you can insert the pins more easily. And once you get the pins almost nearly uh, knocked back into place, it helps to uh, drive at the extra last half millimeter with a flat head screwdriver. You put that in the groove and you just tap on it until it's flush once again. Now once you've reassembled it, you're basically done. And if you've done everything right, you just fill it up with gas to see if it leaks again. If you did it right, you won't be hearing any more leaks. And mine no longer leaks. This will prevent leaks from around the valve, but not the valve itself. I hope this video is very informative on how to repair your leaky magazines. And, uh, well, now you know how to fix them.